guys welcome back to my channel um let's talk about these eyelashes um i am a ambassador for um addicts cosmetics they <laughs> she makes um skincare body care stuff for men eyelashes um there's a little bit of fashion like accessories and stuff in there too um so these are some of the lashes that she sent me um they are very dramatic um uh, i've gotten a lot of lashes from her but this pair and let me see if i can find the other pair or like oh my goodness crazy where oh i can't find it oh i guess i can't there it is okay it's in this pair like look at how full that is they just look like a bit much for me like so i went out to dinner last night and i could just feel the girls i was with like looking at me but of course no one's gonna say anything because like i'm cute but whatever but like they just look like the girls i make fun of <laughs> like these are not my normal lashes i think i left them in the bathroom the ones from addicts that i usually wear are not this big and dramatic um but they're super pretty they're just like Wait, I gotta get the hair out the way so you can just see the lash. Like, they're just too much for me. <laughs> they're just like I like them, but like, like from the side, they so cute. But from the front, you can't even see my eyelids. But I, I didn't even put on makeup. On. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do my. You're not gonna be able to see it. Like it's so much. It's so much. I've had these for a few months, but I chose to wear them because I had like a quick little emotional family day and like my eyes were super puffy this yesterday morning. So I was like, I still want to go and support my friend for my birthday, but I look horrible because I've been crying and my eyes were super puffy and I slept all day. So my whole like methods of how to reduce your eyes and make them not look puffy or whatever, I didn't have time to do that. So I was like, I'm going to put on the biggest fucking lashes I have and no one's going to be able to tell that I was crying two days ago. So whatever um yeah but um what was we talking about oh okay so let's talk about <laughs> promoting and being an influencer and promoting other people's stuff um how do you get into it um how does it work all that good stuff okay so let's rewind and do a little history on me um so i started promoting other people's stuff way back in college um, I used to be a promo girl, basically. So I worked for a few different companies that would send me out into the community, whether it was like for alcohol, so a bar event or a liquor store tasting or like a nightclub situation. Um, and then I worked for another company that would send me like to Sam's Club and like grocery stores. And I would do like food samplings or like stuff with Dove. I like sample like deodorant the body wash stuff like that passing out samples of people um i even did a campaign for um ballpoint pens um and i was like at the gallery downtown passing out pens to people in the gallery like yeah um so i used to do that um i'll try to find some pictures that was a long time ago but we'll see i'll try to insert some pictures for me in the club passing out doing different things so basically i was a brand ambassador I was a brand promoter or promo girl throughout the entire, all of college pretty much. So my degree from college is in psychology, but I also minored in business and marketing. Um, so from that, I've learned a lot of different ways of like how to reach out to brands, how to market proper products the right way, things like that. So I just have a lot of insight that since I've had kids, I haven't been using. Um, and now I'm feeling like I'm further in my like psychology career that I'm, I'm at the point where I have to decide, do I wanna keep doing this or do I wanna go back into what I was originally doing, which is marketing, branding, doing promotions, being an ambassador. That stuff excites me. Psychology is slowly starting to not excite me anymore. So I'm at the point of where I'm trying to decide like, am I gonna keep this up or I wanna go back to what I used to do? So I'm basically at the point in my career in psychology where I need to decide if I'm gonna further this career, go back to school, get my 
RBT or my master's or my BCBA, if I'm doing that, and if I actually passionately wanna do that, or if I'm more interested in the marketing side of things that I used to be into. Um, so while I'm trying to figure that out, I might as well let go of all this information that I have and pass it on to you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, so here's where I started talking about influencing and getting more into detail. But I decided to just cut that and make that a whole separate video. Here are some pictures, though, of my night out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.